Do I have a question about my niche because wellness coach is too broad, so I need some help here? My ideal client is people between 25 to 55 who've tried everything and nothing worked. If you think about niche, you think about who do you, who do you love working with the most? Or who, did, who did you used to be? What were the problems that you struggled with? It may not even be just an age group. It may just be a specific set of beliefs or problems. It's things that you struggled with, suffered with yourself, that now you want to help other people overcome. Not to help them with their health, but to take control of their life, yeah? And that's an easy way in, right? Like as soon as you help people with their health, it's a, it's a pretty quick path to changing your whole life. And you see it, people lose weight and then they start to have more confidence and they start, like lots of things start to happen and change. Who specifically then do you love helping the most? Like what are they dealing with? What are the problems? Beyond just their age, what are the problems they're struggling with? What's the mindset they have? Who do you love just helping the most through, through those things? I know it's broad, but I'm not sure how to narrow it down because that's pretty much what describes my view clients. Okay, but that's a good starting point, but what else? What are they struggling with? What's their background? What's their internal belief system? You know, who do you love helping more than others? People that are also ready to make change and work on themselves, okay? So what leads to somebody being ready for change? Uh, Milko, I'm not sure exactly. Maybe when they are ready to change their lives, they're sick of things not working and no control in their life, so they want their life back. Okay, so, but then even more specific, inside of that, who else do you love helping? So there's that plus. Age group, industry, specific things that have helped them back, specific things they've tried that didn't work. 25 to 50 works best for the rest that comes to mind is about health. They struggle with trying all kinds of diets and things and nothing to create lasting results. Okay, that's still a ton of people. And you don't, listen, Milka, you don't have to. It just makes it easier, especially at the beginning, to get going and start getting food clients. Milko, I understand that it makes it easier. This is why I want to narrow it down. But the thing is, they come with all kinds of backgrounds, all kinds of challenges. And what I find in common is they're ready for change. I want to put in the work. Well, you could. Milko says, I'm trying to think of something to narrow it down and not much comes to mind because the common thing, my idea of clients is that they are sick of the way their life is going and they're ready to put in the work. Well, you can, listen, start with that. Even they're saying like they've tried everything and they're ready to put in the work because most people are not ready to put in the work. So how do you identify those people in, in the marketing, in the, in the, in the material, in the website, etc. cetera, that they're actually ready to do it? and you're pushing away the people who are not ready yet. As you get in it and start talking with people, see who you, who you naturally connect with the most.